the data collection has improved since then, and, I, and the presentation has absolutely improved since our, our first attempt in, in 1996. But I think it helps uh, know how to, to uh, direct uh, our limited resources with respect to prevention, and I think it's, it's an excellent document, and I appreciate the highlights that you offered today. Thank you. Thank you, Supervisor. Um, we have we have one more proclamation before we adjourn for lunch, and uh, this is one that uh, is is very deserving. Uh, and I will hand it off to Supervisor Smith for an introduction. Thank you very much. Uh, this is discussion possible action including adoption of proclamation honoring Commissioner Betty Smith for her services on First Five Mendocino Commission upon the occasion of her retirement, First Five Mendocino. And um, I certainly would like to do the presentation and could offer some personal anecdotal comments, but I think Supervisor Colfax is best prepared to do the formal presentation since he served with Betty Smith for um, all of the years that she has been on a, a First Five Commission, and I believe the commissioners are here. They're going to be well represented in comments that they're going to make, and it's an exciting moment. It certainly is. Supervisor Colfax. Mr. Chairman, uh, this supervisor has not obviously had the same kind of relationship with uh, <laughs> Betty Smith as uh, Supervisor Smith. Uh, the anecdotes and comments uh, and this particular instance would be those uh, expressing my admiration and respect and appreciation for your service. You were the expert uh, for all those nine years, eight years you've served as a member of the first five commission here. And uh, we very, very much appreciated your intelligence, your insights, your wit, your critical perspective on some of the things that we took for granted and got them out there. And uh, we want to honor you here today, and I'm glad to see uh, members here and staff of the First Five Commission. Having sat on the First Five Commission from its inception uh, uh, nearly nine years ago, or over nine years ago, uh, this has been one of the most satisfying things for me to have been a, a board appointee to the first five commission and like it or not they have to deal with a supervisor sitting on the board uh, or sitting on the commission because that's what the law requires but i think uh, we get along very well it's one of the very uh, best run and most effective uh, uh, agencies or entities out there betty Whereas you began your term with the first five Mendocino Commission in 1999, and whereas with unique wit and generosity of spirit, you have had a long and much distinguished term and can take great pride in your years of service as a commission member of first five Mendocino. And whereas you have enlivened many commission meetings with your sense of humor and candid observation, and whereas you have had an empathy and sense of fairness often formed forming commission decisions. And whereas the hours you have spent on a bus to and from the coastal burg of Mendocino to serve the commission, and those represent an exceptional personal sacrifice. And whereas you have earned a well-deserved retirement playing with your own grandchildren and great-granddaughter. Now therefore be it resolved that the Mendocino County Board of Supervisors hereby recognizes and honors you for your dedicated leadership and service and extend to you our congratulations and best wishes for continued success on the occasion of your retirement. Betty, thank you for so much. Signed, Jim Weinberger, Chair.
just want to say just a very few things. Uh, the first is that I would not have been in this role if it hadn't been a phone call from Velma Housky suggesting that I do it and the then supervisor Patty Campbell who called on the phone and said why don't you do that. Uh, secondarily I would like to say that Allison Glassy is uh, one, one of the commissioners and uh, currently serving and <clears throat> David I have some special words for because he's <laughs> been there since the beginning it's a mandate that there be a supervisor and he's been there and um, he's also my supervisor so uh, we have not always agreed on everything, but we've always had the uh, time and the opportunity to voice our views, and I think we've learned a lot. Okay. All right. Betty, I got a question for you. One second, John. I talk too much if you get me started. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd like to welcome my sister, Nancy, who's here from Santa Rosa, and it ties in perfectly with our agenda today because she's a registered, registered nurse. She wants to tie in her own. Great. So we'll leave this here. Supervisor Pinches. Betty, it, it says in this proclamation, it says in this proclamation that you enjoy your grandchildren and your great granddaughter, but you say nothing about your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> she never sees <laughs> Proclamation wording, I guarantee that was my bad. <laughs> Not in any way reflecting of the mother's love for her immediate children. <laughs> You're on the platform, Ann. Thank you. Ann Molgard staffed a first five Mendocino commission, and it does not surprise me at all that immediately the audience stood up for Betty Smith. It has been a joy and a privilege to work with her. I have learned so much about the practice of early childhood education, not just the theory which Betty has been teaching for years, including here at Mendocino at College of the Redwoods, but also she, she, what her specialty is, is putting all of that complex neuron, synapse, brain development, gobbledygook into how do you play with the child? And how do you listen and how do you be present with the child? And that's what's been so lovely to see. And she's brought that to our commission and to our grantees and to all the work that we've done over the years. So we're going to talk a little bit more at lunch. But in the meantime, I'll introduce another First Five Commissioner, Tammy Scott. I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, serving with Betty. I've been on the commission for a few years now. And when I was in school here at Mendocino College, um, which I love and respect, Betty was always someone as a teacher that I heard a lot about from the other professors. If you get to, to get taught by Betty, you know, um, you're so blessed. And so having come full circle, being a commissioner with her now, um, listening to her, being inspired by her, and then